Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the thermostat control on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll need to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So pull it out far enough that you can unplug it or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. And once we've done that, We'll open the door up, remove all of the items on the upper shelf. And in most models, there will be an opening towards the front of that control housing, and there will be a quarter inch hex head screw in there. Just put that housing down. And there are two wire harnesses that we need to release the locking tabs on. Slide a flat blade screwdriver in to release that tab. And separate the harness. There's a larger harness that goes into the ceiling. And there's a locking tab on the bottom side of it. So we need to slide a flat blade into that. Release that tab. And unplug the harness. Now next we need to disengage two hooks, one on either side of the back of this housing. So just lift up on them, so tilt them away. And then carefully pull the control housing forward. And then we need to maneuver this T-shaped deflector the back out through this opening. And now we can take that housing and change out the control. Now with the control housing on a suitable work surface, our next step will be to remove the control knob. Simply pull that off the shaft of the control. You'll note there will be two wires that attach to the terminals on one end of the control and typically a ground wire on the opposite side. There's also a capillary tube that comes out of that it runs along the side of the housing and has a little plastic sheath over it. So lift up the control or remove the ground wire from the terminal as well as the two electrical wires. If need be, use your pliers to pull them off. Remember to grasp just the terminal and not the wire. Wires removed. We can then pull that control out of the housing. We need to disengage that capillary tube from the little channel. Just pop that up out of there and remove the control. Now we will take the protective plastic covering from the old control. Slide that off. We're going to carefully straighten the capillary tube on the new control. We need to make sure that we don't kink that in any way. And slide that protective sleeve over the new tube. Now if your housing is similar this one you'll note that the ground terminal on the control will butt up against that so you need to reposition that or reshape that ground terminal so that it passes in front of that center block in the housing. Take your needle nose pliers and then bend that over And the control should fit down into that opening. There are two little tabs that stand up towards the front. We need to slide that control down into that opening until it bottoms out. And then carefully bend that capillary tube. the 
The back end of it is still within the housing. Fit it down into that little cutout in the channel at the back here. There's a little cutout in the middle. And tuck the excess down inside the housing. Make sure that we don't have any sharp bends in that capillary tube. And once we have that capillary tube properly positioned, we'll next need to reconnect the wires to the terminals on the control. And remember to reconnect the green ground wire. You may need your needle nose pliers to put that onto the terminal. Make sure the harnesses will tuck down flush from the top. And then reinstall the knob. You note that there is one portion of that knob that has a wider gap on the plastic housing. That will only allow that knob to fit on the control in one position. And now we can put the housing back into the refrigerator. So we're going to take the control housing, and the first thing we'll need to do is to insert this tab into that T-shaped opening in the styrofoam. We need to do that carefully so that we don't damage it. Pivot it into place. And pull it forward. Now next we'll need to engage these two hooks, one on either side at the back of that housing, with these two slotted openings in the ceiling. Once both of those are engaged, as it should hold on its own. We'll next need to reconnect the wire harnesses. Start with the two wire one. Make sure it's fully inserted and that the little locking tab here is engaged. And next, we'll install the one into the ceiling. And again, we'll need to ensure that the locking tab engages. Place. Install the quarter inch hex head screw in that opening in the bottom. Make sure that it pops through the top and then we can line it up with the opening in the ceiling and tighten it. We're now ready to reload the shells the refrigerator back in and our repair is complete.